58 degrees right now, and uh, for Wendy Sheridan, I only have one question. I'm sure she does not know the answer to it. Where in the world is Maggie McDaniel? Where in the world is Maggie McDaniel? Well, Maggie's staying, I mean, uh, Wendy's staying silent on it, but we Uh want to ask the Uh person who actually knows, it's Maggie McDaniel. Good morning, Maggie. Good morning, gentlemen. How are you? I am back home. I'm back in the States from a beautiful pilgrimage to Poland. Yeah, for like a day or two. <clears throat> yeah, and just got bam, back Friday night. Yes. You're gone again. Yes, yes. Um, boy, I tell you, you talk about remembrance, and you just think mm. about what the Polish people have gone through mm. and with their saints and what they've done. Um, it's just unbelievable. I think Poland has really become a new favorite pilgrimage destination for me. The more mm. I go, the more I fall in love with it. It's absolutely mm. wonderful. Well, when we talked about it when you were there, Maggie, the fact that, of course, there's holy sites, there are all these wonderful saints that have come, modern saints that have come out of there, uh, but also the church is alive and well, like it is, it's still going in Poland, and and that part of it is maybe a little bit different than when we go to pilgrimages in other places. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I was telling Charlie when I got home, <clears throat> on, uh, when we were in Zakopane on Sunday for mat, we had mass in a little chapel. Um, it's actually Our Lady of Fatima Chapel. The statue is dedicated to um, this area because they had a devotion to Our Lady of Fatima back in the 50s. Uh, the archbishop who received the statue from Fatima was, uh, you know, John Paul at the time, yeah. Karawatiya. Mm-hmm. But when he was uh, shot, the people said, prayed to Our Lady of Fatima and said, if he is saved, um, they would build a new church for her, which they did. Mm. We had Mass in the chapel, and there was a Mass before ours, and then when we came out, there's people standing outside. Mm. Wow. It's that full. They're standing outside. And that's just for a regular Mass. That's for a regular Sunday Mass. Mm. And there are, mm. other ch- there are other parishes in the town. I mean, it's just mm. unbelievable to see it, and they're there as families. It's not Mom taking the kids or whatever. It's Mom and Dad, and it's just everywhere you go, you see the entire family together. God. And you can't help but have your faith built up by witnessing that. Oh, being absolutely. Part of that. And I think that's why the families and the faith stay together because they do everything together. Mm. You know, um, when we were in that area and we did a river raft and there was hiking going on and people were biking. And again, I said, you know, back here in the fall, half the people are watching football. Somebody, they're out shopping. The kids are on their phones or playing video games. They were all out doing stuff together as a family. The places mm. were packed. It was just absolutely mm. beautiful to see. But, um, I know uh, I was talking to somebody this morning after Mass and just talking about, you know, the things that we were able to witness. We went to the home of Helen Kowalska, St. Faustina, mm. and right there then we went to the, you know, we picked up the one of the sisters. She got on the bus. We drove just a short distance to the home. She unlocked it. We went through it and went back, and mm. then we prayed the Divine Mercy Chaplet with the sisters at 3 o'clock oh. right there where she was born. We had Mass then later at her tomb mm. in Krakow. Mm. you know at the divine mercy and so just things like that that really bring your faith alive and make it real is just absolutely absolutely beautiful you know and yeah, everything and go you ahead got Dave. an open uh, pilgrimage to uh, oh um, no i'm sorry that that's the one but do you have one coming up for poland uh, no not to poland right now Nothing's but i'd love to plan yet. one so if you're parish or priest wants to lead one i would be i'd love to plan it for you i'd love to talk to him and just get something set up so um you know we visited of course again the hometown of john paul mm. you yeah, know and, and, in vadovice and then in the john paul center in krakow which is actually built over i didn't realize this over the quarry where he worked when he was trying he was studying mm. secretly for mm. the priesthood as an adult wow. um the cassock he was wearing mm. when mm. he was shot Wow. You know, uh, in his hometown, the little museum, it's got the gun that was used wow. when he was assassinated. Wow. So it's just beautiful to see these things and what the people endured. And, and they're not that far out of communism, 1989. Mm. Yeah. So their faith is strong. They're a very strong, resilient people. And it just, it just edifies you and think, you know, we have to stand up for our faith, be strong, and just, you know, this is the way it is. And that's what's great about what you do for CatholicFaithJourneys.com uh, is uh, building these personalized pilgrimages. Uh, you, you know what, what spots you want to hit. 
Right, and we want to and, talk and to... And you can structure it according to, to basically what uh, the what, organizers right, want to do. Right, what the group wants to do and wants to see. Absolutely. That's what we... That's our goal is to customize mm -hmm. it. We don't want to tell you... You know, we'll help you. We don't want to tell you what you want to see, though. You tell us what you want. And that's how we've seen so mm. many new places. Mm. Hey, we want to go here. This is where um, the founders of the parish are from in Germany. And we, we visited the town. Mm. It's the first oh, English yeah. mass they had was when we went there. Mm. The mayor mm. came out and visited us and showed us <laughs> records of people, the you know, the ancestors who the wow. emigrated to the U.S. <laughs> Things like that make it special. So that's what we like to do. An unnamed individual on this last pilgrimage, uh, Monsignor Kabaki, who said that he had been on so many pilgrimages, but this was his favorite ever. Like the the, the going to Poland was yeah. just so different than anything else. Yeah, it it was really fabulous. It really was. Yeah. Um, so consider it. I know Holy Land, Italy are two of the top most requested. We can't go to the Holy Land right now, but let's go to Poland. Mm. Well, let me ask you this again, Maggie. Let's let's talk about this because it's always good to remind us uh, of the value of pilgrimage, particularly if you could take family, you know, on a pilgrimage. Uh, you've seen a lot of lives shifted, I'm sure, in the midst of the in the midst of the travels in the midst of the pilgrimage oh absolutely and you see it either there or you hear about it when you come back how it had affected people and uh that's what we want to happen let's strengthen our faith let's grow together and uh yeah come on a pilgrimage with us and before we go happy birthday matt and missy who <laughs> matt and missy <laughs> oh matt and missy happy birthday when's the birthday <laughs> today oh today yeah. oh, happy, happy birthday, birthday <laughs> matt happy and missy too. Uh, yeah. No time to sing it, but uh, hey, uh, CatholicFaithJourneys.com. Check it out and uh, call Maggie. Yeah, God Thank bless. You.